The only way to get Daniel on board with the male models was to make him one, and I'm worried that he's going to bring down the visual average of the show. Well, I know it. So, all we have to do is surround him with the best-looking models and hope that they cancel each other out. But all the best models are already booked in shows. Oh. Hey, you, Flannel, what are you doing? I'm looking for Claire Mead. Do you know her? Claire, yes, unfortunately. But all the models are supposed to be in their fitting, so forget about that skeleton and go back to the closet. Oh, I think you must have me confused with something. I'm not a model. Hmm. You are now. Hi, I'm supposed to get measured or something? Yeah, I'll be with you in a second. First time model? Yeah, I'm actually kind of nervous. Aw, that's cute. Don't worry, stick with me, I'll show you what to do. Get some print modeling back in college. Daniel Mead. A Mead is in the name on the building. So Claire means your mom. Yeah, but down here, I'm just like everybody else, one of the models. So, Daniel, here's the poop. Uh, the final suit might be the intiest bit snug on you. Well, that's okay. It's a style now. Um, yes, although ideally you'd want someone a little leaner. <clears throat> Just for funsies. Woo! Those are some tight little abs. Heather, come here, feel this. <laughs> Pretty good, new guy. Yes. Uh-huh, and biceps to make me feel safe. <laughs> and look at this. The most perfect twist you've ever seen. <laughs> All right, now you guys are just making fun of me. You know, let's try you in the final suit. Guys, guys, not to step on any toes. The designer specifically asked for me, so let's just stick to the plan, right? Besides, I had fries for lunch. I'll be five pounds lighter tomorrow. We'll see. Of course. <laughs>